considering the fact that I'll turn 17 in three days, I have to realize that I'm making the transition from an older teen to a younger adult. And as an older teen, I have to realize that, you know, I'm kind of badass. Because I've lived through how many? Three economic falls, two of them being a housing bubble, a dot-com bubble, and us going from an AAA to a double A, and I'm still here. Yeah, I know I never did shit for myself, because I kind of live with my parents, because I'm still in high school. But that's kind of badass, if you think about it. You know, if everybody else, I made it through the Great Depression. I made it through that shit back in the 70s. And me? What do I have to deal with? I, think, uh, I dealt with three fuck-ups. I'm going to deal with two more because there's going to be a nice little education bubble and a pretty little retirement bubble. I'm badass, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm a thug. And if you're around my age, you're a thug too, man. Pat yourself on the back. No, people make jokes about the fact that we've had several reported end of the world stuff. Like, during May 2011, it was supposed to have, it was supposed to be the end of the world because of whatever this guy said. During June 6, 2006, the world was supposed to end then. There was the Y2K problem. But those were just end of the world decopolypses. I'm talking about the collapse of an economy. We've lasted through so many. We didn't last through the worst. We didn't last through the Great Depression. But we've certainly lasted throughout the most of them. Not the worst, the most. And we'll certainly last so much more. I'm so fucking happy. Isn't it great, you guys? Yeah, this generation's awesome. We have the we have the most violent post apocalyptic childhoods. And you know what the best part is? It's fucking boring because we're all sitting inside, you know, doing Facebook and YouTube. We're not out there, you know. Like our I know one of my friends who's older, he's like in his thirties, he tells me all the time about the times that we used to like Go to other high schools and other campuses and start wreaking trouble, throwing eggs at people. Um, we had our little crew of nonconformist people that listened to alternative music genres. We had our kids that are trying to be original, not like these hipsters that are just art school freaks. We had the real deal niggas that were badass. And yeah, it. It did seem violent, but it was just kids being kids, and we don't have that anymore. We have kids that act like elder people, sitting around, doing nothing. I'm in a band, man. I'm trying to look for a band, actually. I'm, I don't have a band. I'm writing songs for myself, just because I have nothing to do now. In my search for a band. And it took some people, like, years before they could find a band of their own because nowadays it's hard to get, find some band members. And you know what the worst part is? That I surpassed video game addiction at the age of 12. Like, is that fucking normal? Like, same thing with all my friends. They surpassed video game addiction around my time too. Sure, we talk about video games, but... I bought Final Fantasy 13 a while ago. Yeah, just so that I could see Spoonie's review of it. I played it for two days and I didn't touch it since. And this was like, what, March? Yeah, it's not that fucking interesting. You know what the. I get this. What do we have to listen to as music anymore? I mean, I'm. You know what shirt I'm wearing? You know who I'm behind? Yet last video I was wearing a two shirt and I was with Maynard right over here. 
And those were good bands. What do we have now? We have a lot of metalcore. There's a lot of great metalcore bands out there. I don't hate metalcore anymore. I see it for what it's worth. But come on, everybody. Our generation is eating, man. Generation eats. It sucks. It blows. It, it just necks, nigga. Like, and I have it the worst because I probably hang out with people outside of the weekdays the least. The weekends, I'm freaking bored because I'm with this SOB. Um, when everyone else is outside with their entertaining lives. And it may not be that entertaining. It's usually dead. But, what can you do? But guys, this isn't a... This isn't just anything else. We also have to deal with the fact that... Because we deal with the most economic crashes... We may not... Have the luxury that everyone else did when... Um... There was the Great Depression, and they were getting help, and um, they eventually worked their way out of the Great Depression. Maybe because of the war, maybe because of New Deal, maybe because of markets, but... Here, it, once we become young adults, all this debt and all this future debt will be handed, will be thrown at us. Along with the fact that we're no longer a superpower... Or the same kind of superpower will also have to deal with the eventual realization that bullshit will be thrown at us. Like these fake environmentalists which actually advocate harm to the environment. Because when you get a hybrid car, um, yeah, you can you know, avoid using fossil fuel sometimes. And there's more fuel efficiency. But the lead battery will fuck shit up. Or diesel. Diesel fuck shit up because diesel fumes are harmful to people, and lead lead's very harmful to people. That's why when there was a spike in brain damage, they found out it's because of lead pencils. So now we have pencils made of graphite. So imagine all the lead from a battery. Yeah, our brains are gonna be totally retarded. The generation after generation Z. As we have it, they're going to have it worse. It just keeps continuing on. So, yeah, we're actually doing more environmental bad than good. Because, alright, adapting to a rise in water levels, that's okay. I can understand some drastic changes if global warming's true. But, come on. There's no way we're going to stand a chance full of people that have mental problems and are um, retarded. No offense to people with mental disabilities, because I feel for you guys. Not because I have one of my own, but because it's tough, I know. It has to be tough. I don't understand how, you know, the same way I would understand how... Getting a broken foot hurts since I've had those, but it's tough. What's more? What's more? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just annoyed as hell right now. Because this generation is going to suck, man. There's no doubt about it. This generation wants to become adults who have it bad. Not me, though, because I know what I want. I don't want much, but I want specific things. And with those specific things comes other specific things, and I know how to get them. It might not be exactly the way I want it, but if I get them, I'll know what I'll do with them. Alright, guys, so...
Alright guys, it seems like my dumbass mother left her phone in somewhere and she's in work right now, so I have to look for that shit. This has been another Mr. Wonka 7 video, and because this may be the last I'll ever say it, suck my dick.